Turin, Persian, Tran -Turin the land of the Tur", is a historical region in Central Asia. The term is of Iranian origin and may refer to a particular prehistoric human settlement, a historic geographical region, or a culture. The original Turanians were an Iranian tribe of the Avestan age. <inaudible> Overview In ancient Iranian mythology, Tur or Taraj Tuj in Middle Persian is the son of the emperor Faradin. According to the account in the Shahnameh, the nomadic tribes who inhabited these lands were ruled by Tur. In that sense, the Turanians could be members of two Iranian peoples both descending from Faradin, but with different geographical domains and often at war with each other. Turin, therefore, comprised five areas, the Kopit Dag region, the Atrek Valley, the eastern Albers Mountains, Helmand Valley, Bactria and Margiana. A later association of the original Turanians with Turkic peoples is based primarily on the subsequent Turkification of Central Asia, including the above areas. According to C. E. Bosworth, however, there was no cultural relationship between the ancient Turkic cultures and the Turanians of the Shahnameh. Terminology Topic Ancient Literature Topic Avesta The oldest existing mention of Turin is in the Farvardine Yasht, which are in the Young Avestan language and have been dated by linguists to approximately 2300 BCE. According to Gerardo Noli, the Avesta contains the names of various tribes who lived in proximity to each other. The Arias, Arians, Tuarias, Turanians, Syrimas, Sarmatians, Sainas, Ashkins, and Dahis, Dahai. In the hymns of the Avesta, the adjective Turya is attached to various enemies of Zoroastrism, like Phrasian, Shaname, Afrasiab. The word occurs only once in the Gathas, but twenty times in the later parts of the Avesta. The Turiyas as they were called in Avesta play a more important role in the Avesta than the Syrimas, Sainas and Dahis. Zoroaster himself hailed from the area people but he also preached his message to other neighboring tribes, according to Mary Boyce, in the Farvardine Yasht. In it verses 143 are praised the fravishes of righteous men and women not only among the Aryas as the Avestan. People called themselves, but also among the Turiyas, Syrimas, Sainas, and Dahis, and the personal names, like those of the people, all seem Iranian character. Hostility between Turiya and Arya is indicated also in the Farvard Tn Yast, VV, where the Fravishis of the Just are said to have provided support in battle against the Danus, who appear to be a clan of the Tura people. Thus in the Avesta, some of the Turiyas believed in the message of Zoroaster while others rejected the religion. Similar to the ancient homeland of Zoroaster, the precise geography and location of Turin is unknown. In post-Avestan traditions they were thought to inhabit the region north of the Oxus, the river separating them from the Iranians. Their presence accompanied by incessant wars with the Iranians, helped to define the latter as a distinct nation, proud of their land and ready to spill their blood in its defense. The common names of Turanians in Avesta and Shahnameh include Frerizian, Agrathra, Bitarash, Arjaspa Namquast. The names of Iranian tribes including those of the Turanians that appear in Avesta have been studied by Manfred Merhofer in his comprehensive book on Avesta personal name etymologies. <laughs> Late Sassanid and early Islamic era From the 5th century CE, the Sasanian Empire defined Turin, in opposition to Iran, as the land where lay its enemies to the northeast, the continuation of nomadic invasions on the northeastern borders in historical times kept the memory of the Turanians alive. After the 6th century the Turks, who had been pushed westward by other tribes, became neighbors of Iran and were identified with the Turanians. The identification of the Turanians with the Turks was a late development, possibly made in the early 7th century. The Turks first came into contact with the Iranians only in the 6th century, according to Clifford E. Bosworth. In early Islamic times, Persians tended to identify all the lands to the northeast of Khorasan and lying beyond the Oxus with the region of Turin, which in the Shahnama of Ferdowsi is regarded as the land allotted to Faradun's son Tur. The denizens of Turin were held to include the Turks, in the first four centuries of Islam essentially those nomadizing beyond the Jaxarts, and behind them the Chinese see Kowalski, Minorski, Turin. 
Turin thus became both an ethnic and a geographical term, but always containing ambiguities and contradictions, arising from the fact that all through Islamic times the lands immediately beyond the Oxus and along its lower reaches were the homes not of Turks but of Iranian peoples, such as the Sogdians and Khwarezmians. The terms, Turk and Turanian became used interchangeably during the Islamic era. The Shahnameh, or the Book of Kings, the compilation of Iranian mythical heritage, uses the two terms equivalently. Other authors, including Tabari, Hakim Irancha and many other texts follow like. A notable exception is the Abl Hassan Ali ibn Masudi, an Arab historian who writes, "...the birth of Afrasiyab was in the land of Turks and the error that historians and non-historians have made about him being a Turk is due to this reason." By the 10th century, the myth of Afrasiyab was adopted by the Karakhanid dynasty. During the Safavid era, following the common geographical convention of the Shahnameh, the term Turin was used to refer to the domain of the Uzbek Empire in conflict with the Safavids. Some linguists derive the word from the Indo-Iranian root asterisk Tura strong, quick, sword Pashto, Pashto Turin Thurin, swordsman. Others link it to Old Iranian asterisk Tor dark, black. Related to the new Persian tar ik, Pashto tor, thor, and possibly English dark. In this case, it is a reference to the dark civilization of Central Asian nomads in contrast to the illuminated Zoroastrian civilization of the settled Arya. Shahnameh In the Persian epic Shahnameh, the term Turin, land of the Turiya, like Iran, Iran equals land of the Arya, refers to the inhabitants of the eastern Iranian border and beyond the Oxus. According to the foundation myth given in the Shahnameh, King Fyardan equals Avestan Theta Rateona had three sons, Salm, Tur and Araj, among whom he divided the world. Asia Minor was given to Salm, Turin to Tur and Iran to Araj. The older brothers killed the younger, but he was avenged by his grandson, and the Iranians became the rulers of the world. However, the war continued for generations. In the Shahnameh, the word Turin appears nearly 150 times and that of Iran nearly 750 times. Some examples from the Shahnameh, nh kaxt pida nh drya nh quo z bees tigdaran tran gur no earth is visible, no sea, no mountain, from the many blade wielders of the Turin horde the mountain, tran s shard, jeng bidansan kach nakir bin plain to hamtan powerful bodied rustam took the fight to the Turin army just as a leopard sights its prey. Topic Modern literature Topic Geography In the 19th and early 20th centuries, Western languages borrowed the word Turin as a general designation for modern Central Asia, although this expression has now fallen into disuse. Turin appears next to Iran on numerous maps of the 19th century to designate a region encompassing modern Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan and northern parts of Afghanistan and Pakistan. This area roughly corresponds to what is called Central Asia today. The phrase Turin Plain or Turin Depression became a geographical term referring to a part of Central Asia. Topic linguistics The term Turanian, now obsolete, formerly occurred in the classifications used by European especially German, Hungarian, and Slovak ethnologists, linguists, and Romantics to designate populations speaking non-Indo-European, non-Semitic, and non-Hamitic languages and specially speakers of Altaic, Dravidian, Uralic, Japanese, Korean and other languages. Max Muller identified different sub-branches within the Turanian language family, the Midler Altaic Division branch, comprising Tungusic, Mongolic, Turkic, the northern Ural Samoyedic, Ugrish, and Finnic. The southern branch consisted of Dravidian languages such as Tamil, Kannada, Telugu, Malayalam, and other Dravidian languages. The languages of the Caucasus, which Muller classified as the scattered languages of the Turanian family, Muller also began to muse whether Chinese belonged to the northern branch or southern branch. The main relationships between Dravidian, Uralic, and Altaic languages were considered typological. According to Crystal and Robbins, language families, as conceived in the historical study of languages, should not be confused with the quite separate classifications of languages by reference to their sharing certain predominant features of grammatical structure. As of 2013, linguists classify languages according to the method of comparative linguistics rather than using their typological features. According to Encyclopædia Britannica, Max's Muller's efforts were most successful in the case of the Semites, whose affinities are easy to demonstrate, and probably least successful in the case of the Turanian peoples, whose early origins are hypothetical. 
As of 2014 the scholarly community no longer uses the word Turanian to denote a classification of language families. The relationship between Uralic and Altaic, whose speakers were also designated as Turanian people in 19th century European literature, remains uncertain. Topic ideology In European discourse, the words Turin and Turanian can designate a certain mentality, i.e. the nomadic in contrast to the urbanized agricultural civilizations. This usage probably matches the Zoroastrian concept of the Turiya, which is not primarily a linguistic or ethnic designation, but rather a name of the infidels that oppose the civilization based on the preaching of Zoroaster. Combined with physical anthropology, the concept of the Turanian mentality has a clear potential for cultural polemic. Thus in 1838 the scholar J.W. Jackson described the Turanid or Turanian race in the following words, the Turanian is the impersonation of material power. He is the merely muscular man at his maximum of collective development. He is not inherently a savage, but he is radically a barbarian. He does not lie from hand to mouth, like a beast, but neither has he in full measure the moral and intellectual endowments of the true man. He can labor and he can accumulate, but he cannot think and aspire like a Caucasian. Of the two grand elements of superior human life, he is more deficient in the sentiments than in the faculties and of the latter, he is better provided with those that conduce to the acquisition of knowledge than the origination of ideas. According to Iranian poet Muhammad Taghi Bihar, the name Turin derives from the Avestan, Tau Ra'odin, which means, further on the river, where the river equates to the Amu Darya. Bihar also mentions the word Turk is from Middle Persian, Turek, which means, warrior, or horseman. Polish philosopher Felix Konieczny claimed the existence of a distinctive Turanian civilization, encompassing both Turkic and some Slavs, such as Russians. This alleged civilization's hallmark would be militarism, anti-intellectualism and an absolute obedience to the ruler. Konieczny saw this civilization as inherently inferior to Latin Western European civilization. Politics. In the declining days of the Ottoman Empire, some Turkish nationalists adopted the word Turanian to express a pan-Turkic ideology, also called Turanism. As of 2013 Turanism forms an important aspect of the ideology of the Turkish Nationalist Movement Party MHP, whose members are also known as Grey Wolves. In recent times, the word Turanian has sometimes expressed a pan Altaic nationalism, theoretically including Manchus and Mongols in addition to Turks, though no political organization seems to have adopted such an ambitious platform. Topic. Names Turandit or Turandot is a female name in Iran and it means Turin's daughter. In Persian, it is best known in the West through Puccini's famous opera Turandit 1921 Turin is also a common name in the Middle East, and as family surnames in some countries including Bahrain, Iran, Bosnia and Turkey. The Ayyubid ruler Saladin had an older brother with the name Turin Shah. Taraj, whom ancient Iranian myths depict as the ancestor of the Turanians, is also a popular name and means son of darkness. The name Turin according to Iranian myths derives from the homeland of Taraj. The Pahlavi pronunciation of Taraj is Tuj, according to the Dekoda Dictionary. Similarly, Iraj, which is also a popular name, is the brother of Taraj in the Shahnameh. An altered version of Taraj is Zaraj, which means son of gold. <laughs> Family tree <laughs> References Topic. Further reading Center and Periphery in Late Protohistoric Turin, The Settlement Pattern, in, Hirtel, H. ed., South Asian Archaeology 1979, Berlin Archaeology in Iran und Turin, Verlag Philipp von Zabern GmbH. Publisher, Verlag Marie Liedorf GmbH Volume 1 to 3. Topic. External links Iranians and Turanians in the Avesta Der Schatten von Turin A History of the Turin Ideology, in German